you. New Mexico Senator Martin Heinrich was in Las Cruces today looking into the challenges veterans face when trying to access services. ABC 7's Liloba Sincero joins us live in the studio. It's a story from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. Liloba. Yeah, Stephanie, uh, good evening. Senator Heinrich toured an apartment building that houses homeless vets, and he, uh, he says he picked that particular one because it's a really good example of the good that can happen when the federal government funds local housing authorities. But first, we do want to warn you, some of the video you're about to see may be disturbing to some viewers. Hi, Good Natalie morning. Green, City of Las Cruces. Super. Nicole Martinez. Senator Heinrich began his visit by talking to some of the organizations that provide services here at the Oak Street Apartments. It's a project of the Mesilla Valley Housing Authority in partnership with the Mesilla Valley Community of Hope. Here, veterans get a place to stay, food, health care, and rental assistance provided through grants and federal funding. There are about 22 units here, and Senator Heinrich got a chance to tour one of them. He acknowledged that the units are dated and could use new windows, paint, and newer amenities. About 90% of the people who live in this building are veterans, and you can see there are some obvious improvements that need to be made, like this AC unit and that light fixture. I think we need to do a much better job of supporting veterans housing programs overall and making sure that we're um, not just putting a roof over someone's head, but putting the quality of roof over someone's head that they deserve. Senator Heinrich also agreed that taking care of veterans includes making sure they have good health care. And you're getting all the help you need um, here yeah. and as well as access to health. Except for, um, the, uh, except for the VA hospital, they've been holding back a little bit. Well, I've been trying to get uh, my shoulder mended. It's out of, sh it's out of, it's out of whack, it's out of short joint. And I've been, uh, it's been a year and a half already. Something that was expressed by the veteran you see here in the red hat. Watch as he starts telling the senator how hard it's been for him to get his medications. He even lifts his pant leg so the senator can see his worsening condition. Ultimately, someone from the senator's team promises that he'll get the help he needs. And then this from the senator. Be able to take care of you. Yeah, thank you, sir. Now, Senator Heinrich, uh, he said him and his team are committed to improving the living conditions of our veterans, and he said they're not going to stop until changes are made. Liloba Cicero, ABC7. All right, Liloba, thank you for that report. And we also asked Senator Heinrich to weigh in on Rob Renz. He's the veteran whose death we've been reporting on since last week. Renz served in the U.S. Army and had been seeking medical care for the last few years. This is the special message he had for Renz's family and friends. If you could speak directly to his family, what would you say? That it's unacceptable that we aren't meeting the needs of everyone who serves our country and that we have a lot more work to do. If you or someone you know needs help, you can call the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. That number is 988. And you can find other mental health resources on our website, kvia.com.